good evening viewers uh, cybertech here again with another beautiful episode just like i promised the last time uh, i'll be making videos uh, series on blue team and red team but i thought it wise that i needed to make this video it's very important that you know the the concepts in hacking before you go on with it so this is uh, this is understanding hacking categories 101 so the first thing on our introduction is uh, uh, hacking encompasses a wide range of activities and roles within the realm of cybersecurity. In this lecture, we'll explore various hacking categories and specialized terms. Uh, not uh, all these include, but not limited to red hat and blue hat hackers. Okay. Uh, so the first category of hackers is the black hat as we all know they have a malicious intent to steal and to exploit so the activities also involve unauthorized data theft and cyber attacks so most of those are cyber attacks you hear are from black hat or apt so we'll get to apt so the next category of hackers is the white hat hackers or the ethical hacker so they are the motive is it's legitimate they they have authorization to do that what they are doing so the white hat hackers have full authorization so the activities uh, involve identifying vulnerabilities and se securing systems so the third on my list is uh, gray hat hackers so their motive is somewhere in between uh, the black hats and the white hat hackers. So the activities involve uh, discoveries of vulnerabilities, often with disclosure. So in this category, we have those uh, the security researchers, uh, okay, and some bug bounty uh, hunters. So the fourth one it's on my list is the hacktivists. Uh, the motivation is either political or social causes. Uh, the activities include website defacement, DDoS attack for awareness. Uh, for some of you who are new to hackers, hacking, DDoS means distributed denial of service attack. Okay, so the next on my list is the, the fifth one is the script kiddies. Uh, the motive is, their motivation is uh, limited, limited technical skills, often for notoriety. Notarity is like somebody who wants to be known for the wrong reason. So the activities involve basic, basic hacking using a pre-written script. So if you go back to the video I, where I thought about um, lazy scripts. So if you use lazy script, for example, to hack and do things, you are in this category of script kiddies because you don't know how the codes work behind the hood. So the next on the list is the state-sponsored hackers, which is also known as the APT groups, which is the Adversary Persistent Threats Actors. Okay, their motivation is government-sponsored cyber espionage and warfare. Okay, uh, their activities include uh, targeting critical infrastructures, stealing data, uh, and the rest of them. Okay, the next on my list is the cyber criminals. Their motivation uh, is financial gain through cyber attacks. So the activities include stealing personal and financial data through ransomware attack. Uh, most of you know what ransomware attack is, where um, somebody sends you uh, pre, uh, a, a malware, and when you click it, your, your files are encrypted and the demand for payment through probably by Bitcoin. So while your files are encrypted, the, the hacker already has all your files, okay? So um, the next on my list is the freakers. Uh, the motivation include uh, manipulating telecommunication systems. Uh, the activities include phone freaking, intercepting our communication. Okay, so you need to know these basics, these basics, because so you know where you fall into. And before we go further uh, with this lecture, 
I would also like you to know that hacking is illegal. So you must get a prior uh, prior authorization before going into any hacking activities. So the next thing we want to talk about here is the specialized cybersecurity teams. Like we have the red team, the blue team, the purple team, the green team, the yellow team. But I will explain. Um, the red team roles uh, include uh, uh, the stimulatory word attacks on an organization. Their objective is uh, identifying vulnerabilities and weaknesses. Uh, the method that they use is uh, penetration testing and um, they use a penetration testing, social engineering, and reconnaissance. So the outputs, once they, they are done with this um, uh, kind of um, uh, process, they, out, they give you a detailed report and also give you a recommendation on how to patch any vulnerability they might have discovered. So the blue team, is uh, their role is to defend organization from cyber attack, their objective it's monitor, detect, and respond to threats. Uh, the methods include our security tools, SIM systems, incident response. So also, just like the red team, they have uh, when they are done with these um, their activities, they have an output which is the incident reports, uh, improve security measures. The third on the list is the purple team. Uh, the role this bridge the gap between the red and the blue team. The objective is to enhance security through collaboration. Methods include communications, uh, knowledge sharing. So the output is improved security processes. We also have the green team that ensure compliance with cybersecurity standards. The objectives are uh, aligned with the regulations and best practices. Their methods include uh, audits, controls, assessments, compliance uh, reports. So output is uh, the, uh, the compliance with the legal and regulatory requirements. So the final on this list is the yellow team uh, that focuses on, um, the yellow team focuses on security awareness and training. The objective is to educate employees, reduce human related vulnerabilities. Uh, the method include training programs, phishing simulation, outputs, it includes uh, increased employee awareness. So you have to know these things very important. So conclusively on this lecture, we're taking much time. So I would like to end the lecture here. What you've learned so far, uh, it's hacking encompasses various categories, uh, motivation and roles within the cybersecurity landscape. Uh, two, uh, specialized cybersecurity teams, including the red, blue, purple, green, and yellow team was collaboratively to protect organizations from cyber threats. Uh, the final one is effective collaboration and a comprehensive approach to cyber security are crucial in today evolving uh, uh, threat landscape. Okay, um, we'll end this. We'll be ending this lecture here. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Remember, hacking is illegal. If you must hack, make sure you get a prior and appropriate permission before doing. Thank you. Peace out.